big glass house and buys a four by four, parks it in front of the in front of the house, and leaves it there. So now the master teacher is crazy, so he's always walking around. So he's walking around and he sees the four x four parked there, and he says, "Ah, four times four. So he picks up a rock and he scratches equals to <laughs> sixty. So now it's correct. Walks away. The guy comes, sees this, say, you know, ah, who did this? Yeah. You know, we call it tia chest in Nigeria. Tia chest. Got angry, went, repainted the car, parked it again. Here comes my crazy friend again. Ah, who cleaned my answer? Four times four equals sixteen. Hey, now correct. He walks away. The guy comes. Ah, this time he's livid. He's like, "Who's doing this? This has to stop." He decides that if I don't solve this problem, it may keep happening. So he decides to repaint the car and put equals to sixteen. Problem solved, right? So he parks the car. My crazy mathematician friend comes and says, Ah, nice answer. Fix it there. Correct. <laughs> Put your hands together. I told you we're in for a good time tonight. I didn't lie. I'll tell you another thing. I, I tell a lot of jokes because I come from this place. You know, we make a lot of sense when, when it comes from here. Now, this guy is a graduate. He's been looking for a job for a long time. He can't get. So he's passing by the Ibadan Zoo. And he sees vacancy. So he's going there thinking he's going to get something, maybe like he'll be feeding the lions or, you know, or, you know, cooking for the monkeys, you know. But instead, they give him a monkey suit. Say, our monkey died last week. We need somebody to act like monkey. <laughs> We're expecting children to come for an excursion. And so we need somebody to just act like a monkey. Can you act like a monkey? Niger man says, how much? <laughs> so they tell him, ah, Charlie, that man, easy. So he gets into the monkey suit and he goes into his cage. So he practices, you know, he's hanging, swinging, you know, <laughs> swinging, you know. And the children come around. So he starts swinging. And the children are like, hey! So he's getting more excited. He swings, hey! Oh, this is the sweet guy. I don't know what did they happen. Now, unfortunately for him, the next cage is the lion cage. So he's swinging, hey, we, we. The children are like, hey! He swings too high and falls into the lion cage. So he tells himself, ah! My own finish. Just as he was about to start praying, the lion said, shh, shh, boy, bros, now, me too, at the work here. <laughs> say, say, bros, bros, no run, now we, we. <laughs> Everybody say, now we, we. <laughs> now, the, this young guy, small but dangerous, very, very dangerous guy. It reminds me about the evil guys. You know, the evil guys, when they go, they're always looking for shortcuts. You know, an evil guy walks into a barbing salon and he says, how much for a haircut? The guy says, 15 naira. He says, how much for shaving? He says, 20 naira. It's okay, shave my head.
Please put your hands together for these hot babes. Hot, spicy babes. That's it. That's it. Yes, I'm feeling better.